Thor News presents Part 2 in the ongoing series of Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 2. You may recall two weeks ago I asked a favor of NASA. Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ison? If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. Well, they haven't answered me, they haven't put a big old fancy telescope camera on it, and they haven't even put like a piece of crap NASA when we got off the shelf camera on it. But obviously, they do have a sense of humor, because what they have given us is a slick JPL style orbit, which we already had, we just didn't have it as slick with the bells and the whistles. So, and then they give us a photograph that is two months old, which is funny because it's pretty much as good as your backyard astronomers photographs like Astro Bob or Astro Mutt, the Astro family. Astro family doesn't F around. And who? Ooh, look, we can use our imagination. See how big this thing is. Speaking of how big this thing is, there has been quite a bit of news to roll out the MSM since my last video. So let us recap, shall we? Okay, sounds good. That's great. Now, but what is interesting is the information that is coming out not the data, I mean not the photographs or the video, because we haven't gotten any new video, except for maybe like this little thing, which makes it look like Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. Tracking some shit in this GIF on space weather, it looks like, it looks like Ison is carrying some shit with it, because obviously it's going to have a bit of gravity. It's pretty powerful, I'd imagine. I mean, we don't even know how big this thing orbits. I would think if you were interested in finding your binary twin, you would pretty much track back Ison path. As far as you go to, you got to the nearest star, brown dwarf, red dwarf, green dwarf, blue dwarf, yellow dwarf, dwarfy dwarf, anywho, um... What I was trying to say was, if you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. I now realize that if you want to get people interested in celestial physics and their happenings, you gotta use Beyonce references. So on that note, I don't think you're ready for this nucleus. I don't think you're ready for this nucleus. This nucleus is too comedylicious for you, babe. Yeah, I know, sorry. I just wore a good joke into the ground. Just like those bastards who did the hangover too. With pretty much every joke in the movie, no. I'm sorry, forgive me. Shine bright like camera. Ison. So, the information we've gotten so far is that it is not brightening as expected, which is fascinating, because if it's not brightening as expected, that means what we're seeing is the nucleus, and the nucleus is bigger than we imagined, right? I mean, that's what we're trying to measure by, arc seconds and pixels, since NASA won't put one of its fancy big old telescope cameras on it, dang it. Um, so yeah, everybody's saying, hell, if it's not brightening, then the part we can see is just the nucleus, that means it's anywhere from... Three miles, three kilometers, kilometer. You say kilometer, I say mile. Both have a feeling of superiority. Okay. Um. So we know it's not. It's not brightening as expected. And then NASA came out and said, "Oh, it's your average three-kilometer nucleus comet," which is weird. Because then, how did they figure it would get up to 15 times as bright as the moon if it has a nucleus like any other normal comet? I mean, that just don't make no dang sense. And I was raised by a smart mama, a smart daddy. You know what I'm saying? I've had some smart friends. And I've been around smart people. So that just don't make no dang sense. You know what I'm saying? Burn. Uh, I'm sorry. That was a joke for older people. Burn. Uh, it used to be an annoying dude at the window asking for shit. Mm, hard to explain. Tangent. Anyways, I track back to the track, Mac. And here we go. All right. So we still don't necessarily know how big this thing is. If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. NASA's not going to put a camera on it. So I have an idea. We'll put out a call to action. To Matt Miller of Bloomberg TV and all the beautiful female reporters there. And there are a lot of them. To help us get NASA to put one of their big old fancy cameras on it. Now Bloomberg TV people may be like, hey, we do business. Why would I care about a comet? Well, let me tell you. Space has become a big business. As NASA is winding down their space operation and, and getting more into making music videos and parodies of making music videos, big business like Elon Musk. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to, to NASA for giving us this opportunity. With his dragon and SpaceX are taking over. So space is big business. So this is a foothold for y'all to get into the business crowd so they can start investing in, you know, asteroid occupation. Oh. Did you know that gold and silver come from exploded stars? Yes, supernova is to precious metals as Ben Bernanke is to the dollar. So let's go ahead and put the call of action out to Lindsay Janis. I know you ain't with Bloomberg anymore. And Kelly Evans. And Liz Lee too. And so people don't accuse me of stacking it with a lot of intelligent females. I'll go ahead and throw in David Letterman and Bill Clinton. And while we're at it, Steven Spielberg, you can join too. I'll give you a chance to make up for Transformers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 
George Lucas will give you a chance to make up for making three films about the Adolf Hitler of the Star Wars universe and then turn around and sell them that shit to Disney. And then if we can get Julian Casablancas to write a come a ice in NASA, put a camera on it, danceable ditty, that would be awesome. We would be unstoppable. And before you know it, they'd probably have the Hubble and stereo on it. So together as a team, we could do this. Do it for yourself. Do it for your fellow human being. Do it for the future of astronomy. Come on. As you may have well guessed, the tinfoil hat wearers and the doomers and the gloomers are having a feel day with this. They're estimating it could be up to 40,000 kilometers wide, which would be massive on behalf of me and the rest of all human beings interested in all things outer space. I have now realized that if you want to get people interested in celestial physics and their happenings, you need to use Beyonce references. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. I don't think you're ready for this comet. This comet is too comedy delicious for you, babe. The more they don't show us what is going on. Pretty please. Is she naked? Put a bra on her. Nudity. Comet nudity. No one will stand for that. Why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is. What is going on? I just want to know more. You're going to need to rotate your stuff. I read Ender's Game. You're going to need to rotate your stuff. Join me in suspicious observers in our rallying cry. If you like comma ice, now how big is this thing going to get? We don't know. Oh no, do we, buddy? Okay, well, that's all I got today. Talk to you guys soon. Later.